It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things started on the toy shelf tonight. They're sort of like marionettes. They're sort of like puppets. They're little furry monsters. They're the Muppets. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Toy Shelf. I'm your host, Mitch Live, and today we are talking about Muppets. You know the Muppets. You probably grew up on them. Your kids probably grew up on them. Your parents probably grew up on them. Nowadays, it seems to be just another one of those many franchises that are just getting absorbed by Disney and are just a hollow shell of their former self. But let's just take a minute to appreciate how accomplished this little group of fuzzy monsters is. From 1976 to 1981, the Muppets had their very own half-hour variety special, which comprised of comedy sketches, and every episode featured a different celebrity guest host. The guest host was normally a famous actor or musician, or both. They had Elton John, Vincent Price, Julie Andrews, Alice Cooper, just to name a few. After their show ended, they made 10 feature-length films. Some were remakes of classic stories such as Treasure Island or A Christmas Carol, and some were completely original Muppet stories. And let's not forget about how many other wonderful things we have in this world because of some of the people behind The Muppets. One of the longest-running children's shows of all time, Sesame Street, is currently in its 47th season. We have timeless movies such as The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth featuring David Bowie. And let's not forget about this guy. That's right, Yoda was a Muppet. And personally, I like it better back when he was still a Muppet. And there's so, so much more, but you get the gist. They were a sensation. They were a sensation. Merchandise, including stuffies and toys, have never been in short supply for Muppets. You could probably spend your whole life just collecting Muppets merch. I may have had the odd stuffy or maybe a McDonald's toy from Muppets growing up, but uh, there was never like one classic definitive toy line for the Muppets. So when I discovered that one of my favorite toy manufacturers, Diamond Select, is making Muppet figures, <coughs> How could I resist? So, which character do you think started this collection? Huh? Go ahead, I'll give you a minute. Guess, just guess. There are so many lovable, fun characters, but it was this classic pair of crotchety old critics that were my first finds. These were the first figures I saw from the Diamond Select line, and it was really the diorama that absolutely sold me on it. Just imagine how many classic heckles were shouted from this very theater booth. You know, this show would be great if it just had two things. Yeah, what's that? Subscribers and talent. <laughs> and these guys do actually pretty nicely fit in their chairs. I suppose seeing as how they're not real people, I guess it's easier to get the likeness exact, but uh, I have to give Diamond Select full marks for the likeness of the figures and the dioramas and the accessories in this series. It really is some of their best figures by far. So as soon as I found these guys, I looked up some of my favorite Muppets to see which ones they make, and my favorite Muppet was currently sold out. I pre-ordered it. I had to wait almost a year. But in the meantime, I found some other cool pieces and figures from the collection, such as Skeeter here. Uh, Skeeter's kind of like the stage manager or the showrunner, whatever you want to call him. He is always running around trying to get the next act ready to go on stage, and uh, based on all the shenanigans that are always going on behind the scenes, it's a miracle that uh, the show goes on every week. Next, I found the leading me leading frog himself. Kermit the Frog here. Kermit is, of course, uh, the host of The Muppet Show. He's the main character. He's the most loved of all the Muppets. And Kermit comes with his son, Robin. And he comes with a, an acoustic guitar. And he comes with the instrument he is much more known for his banjo and the icing on the cake this extremely iconic log that he has serenaded us from time and time again and when you have kermit you know who isn't far behind it's that extremely overbearing jealous annoying pushy self-obsessed airheaded vain possessive very very annoying whiny diva miss piggy oh kermit 
And she comes with a mirror. Go figure, she likes looking at herself. Uh, it comes with her little fluffy dog here. I don't remember her dog's name. If you remember her dog's name, let us know in the comments. Uh, she comes with uh, her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and uh, a magazine where, of course, she's the cover and a photo of her beloved Kermit. So next, uh, I got a little musical group known as Electric Mayhem. It's actually called uh, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, but uh, I currently lack a Dr. Teeth. So for now, it's just Electric Mayhem. Just gonna take me a minute to set up. Oops. And look at the attention to detail with the accessories here. You even get the little microphone slides right out of the cute little microphone stand. And of course, the drummer of Electric Mayhem is my favorite Muppet, the one that I had to wait almost a year for, the one and only Animal. And Animal comes with his full drum kit. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And uh, you can see out front there, he's got his little drum stool and his, uh, his kick drum pedal. And they come with these lights and speakers. They are concert ready, these guys. So the next two, they come as a pair. It's everyone's favorite scientists, Beaker and Bunsen. Me, 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 me. And they come with some accessories here. They've got uh, a bunch of beakers and mixing bowls and test tubes and all kinds of science equipment. Uh, so of course, they're always doing experiments and poor beaker here is always the guinea pig for these experiments. Uh, next we have another classic Muppet. They're on staff resident comedian, Fozzie Bear. Waka waka waka! Uh, here we got one of the classic penguins. Ah. Next we have the great Gonzo. Uh, Gonzo is of course their daredevil slash stuntman and his stunts never go according to plan. Uh, apparently Gonzo is also an alien. And finally, I think I've saved the best for last. Finally, we have the Swedish chef. Borks birdie birdie birdie, borks birdie doo. With the table and the chef and the bark, the birdie birdie birdie. Bark, bark, bark. Uh, so the chef was one of the ones that was completely sold out when I first got into collecting this series. And he was not available for pre-order, but they did come out uh, with another Swedish chef in the next wave. His packaging was slightly different, but he came with a lot more accessories. So I'm glad I got the this next wave of them. And it comes with all of his uh, ingredients, which all seem to be sentient living ingredients that are always trying to escape a slow and agonizing death. Oh, that sounds kind of sounds kind of messed up when you say it out loud, doesn't it? And he also comes with uh, this little chicken. Now, actually, Gonzo also comes with a chicken. This is uh, this is Gonzo's friend Camilla. I mean, they they look very similar. Maybe it's a family member. I really hope the Swedish chef isn't trying to cook Camilla and her family. That's that's just messed up. But nonetheless, he comes with all these cute sentient vegetables and all of these pots and pans to cook them in. Bork, bork, bork. So this is currently my collection of Diamond Select Muppets. It's not complete quite yet, but it's getting there. Just again, full marks to Diamond Select for these figures and their accessories. I'll definitely keep hunting for more of these figures. Uh, most of the scores that I've found have been at toy shows. I don't often walk in to stores and see these new on shelves, but you can get them online. So as usual, there will be links in the description uh, where you can get your own Diamond Select Muppets. And if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoy the Muppets, please like and subscribe for more great content like this. Thank you so much for joining us on the toy shelf today. And remember, you're never too old to play with toys. Mm, and remember, mm, you're never too old to um, play with toys. Me, 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 me. And remember, you're never too old to play with toys. 
And remember, you're never too old to play with toys. Waka waka waka! Eh, toys! Bork, sporty, birdy, birdy, too old to play with toys. And remember, you're never too old to play with toys.